you're listening or watching another episode of Fabulous Investments, a documentary filming my road to success in real estate. I'm your host, Jimmy L, and this is my journey. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. Hi, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, uh, wonderful Saturday. It's not the, the warmest out here, but it is definitely, um, it's, it's definitely feeling good out here today. <laughs> just ran, a, a, no, I'm sorry, I did run because I hadn't ran, <laughs> but just uh, walked around the neighborhood a couple of times and feeling good. But to my promise, I want to make sure that I updated you guys on what was going on with funding um, for the eight unit building. Um, I'm still still looking for funding. I've been in contact at this point with probably well over 10 to 15 different representatives, um, and the bulk of them are coming back and telling me that they're wanting additional an additional down payment. And again, I just I don't have that right now. Um, I did go back and refer to one of the older ladies that originally told me that I only needed to have eight to 10 percent down. But um, anyway, I went back. Her name is Pamela. I went back to speak to her, um, mostly via text. But back to speak to her to say, hey, you know, I have this money. You know, I need you to find me someone. Um, she, of course, wants me to have an LLC, which, again, is really not a big problem. But the more I began to talk to her, the more it seemed like she was getting agitated with me. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm like, we all in here to, of course, learn and, and, and make money, I guess, and to, to um, have a business. And, and I just... I don't know. I, it kind of came off kind of harsh. So I'm going to try to talk to her over the phone and see if that is still the case. If it is, I'm probably not going to do business with her. Um, and I'll just keep saving, keep saving, and maybe miss out on this property and, and find another one that would be more suited for me, um, if that is the case. Um, and again, she, she's, it was, again, it was just so much. So she wanted me to do the contract first, which means that I have to basically pay a lawyer a couple hundred dollars just to get a contract on this place and I'd have to have my contractor to come out and go ahead on and do a full bid on the property um, to say every and anything that's wrong with it, which I don't have a problem with, but this is all before she even tells me that I'm guaranteed that I'm going to get funding. Um, so that means that it is still a major possibility that after I do all of that and spend all of the money that I won't qualify for funding, and that's going to be a problem for me. I don't want to waste money, and I definitely don't want anyone to run my credit and do a hard inquiry, and then I don't even get funding. I don't get anything out of the deal. That would piss me off. So, um, and, and again, it's just, it, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm dealing with that. <laughs> um, I spoke with the other guy, Robert, um, who was actually a referral from another realtor. Um, if you guys remember when I went out to see the duplex, but anyway, um, Robert, he was looking for me for some funding as well and he's also having the same problem and again um, they're wanting 20 to 25 percent down so of course that's a, that's a bigger issue so um, I'm still out here looking I have not given up hope yet um, I found one other representative but it's kind of weird she talked to me on Friday and she was just like well hey my manager I contact you on Saturday never heard anything so I'm just like okay you know, what's going on? And she was like, oh, well, he's better doing, doing the week Monday through Friday. That I don't have time for. So um, at this particular point, there are several different options that are out here, and, and, and I'm going to probably play with them a bit. A lot of the banks actually, let me make sure I state this to you guys very quickly so that it doesn't seem like I'm all over the place. I've actually spoken with the, the home buyer or the, the owner of the complex, and he and I have negotiated a price of fifty-five thousand. I'm totally okay with that, and so is he. And I can do fifty-five thousand. And again, the eight-unit building is one hundred percent occupied, so I have no problem with the fifty-five thousand and knowing that I can get my money back out of it. Um, I'm wanting to do an additional twenty to thirty thousand dollars in rehab, so therefore I'm looking at about a, a loan of seventy to eighty thousand dollars. Here's one of two things that I can do. I can keep looking for a loan for seventy to eighty thousand dollars, and again, I'm going to need that fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty percent down, depending upon the person that I'm talking to. Or I can go directly to a bank, and I can get the fifty-five thousand dollars to purchase and give them the twenty to twenty-five percent down, which I actually do have the twenty-five percent down. If I were to finance it at fifty-five thousand, that wouldn't be a problem. 
So, but again, me doing it and going that route, I wouldn't be able to rehab immediately. And that's where my issue is, which means that the property is basically going to stay the way that it is. It's going to look the way that it is until I've saved up more money. So on the front end, I won't miss out on the deal. I'll be able to go ahead and lock the property down, move in, and I'll be done. But again, on the back end, I'll be having to fix things piece by piece. And that's what I don't want to do. Um, and again, I found a couple of different banks that are willing to actually finance me. Of course, this is prior to them actually seeing my report. So I'm, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that on Monday or tomorrow. And I'm going to see if I can, um, I don't know, I, if that's even a remote option for me. And if it is, I may end up going that route and leave the hard money alone, at least for the time being, until I get more money saved up. So that's kind of where I am right now. Um, there, the hope is still there, and from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like anyone else has even looked at the property, um, So, which is a good thing for me. Um, and if they have, they're probably not serious about it. Uh, I went by and drove by again yesterday just to kind of get an idea of it to see if it's something that I still wanted. And I do. I definitely still want it. Um, I saw a couple of uh, gang graffitis on the side, which is kind of weird and I just you know, kind of uneasy about it. But the more I looked at the property, the more I saw that, hey, it's it's something going on. And, um, you know, it's not the best part of town. It's not the best area. But um, regardless to say, you know, it's, it is what it is. Like, um, it is what it is. And, you know, it's something that I want. And, again, it's it'll be well worth it in the long run. And I know for a fact that I can add, I can add, value to that property. Um, I would never ever make it an A or even a B class um, neighborhood because the neighborhood just wouldn't support that. But I do know for a fact that I can raise the value from where it is now. Um, it really just looks like there's so much wrong with that property that it, it just hadn't been taken care of. And I will say that the people that most likely will continue to rent there probably will rent there for years. Um, and the issue that I would have to face is just making sure that everything is, is not being consistently broken and, and making sure that I'm having quality tenants. Because if nine times out of ten, it probably would be Section 8 tenants um, um, with the full vouchers from, from what I've seen in that area as well as from what I've seen that is actually there now. And um, I know they have a reputation of breaking things and, and, and destroying the property, but I honestly, I if you manage your property right and you manage your people and you manage your property managers, then you won't have those kind of issues. It wouldn't be a big, big problem. So um, it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very serious about continuing on with. So it won't be a problem for me. Um, other than that, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm still looking and I'll let you guys know how the bank uh, situations go on tomorrow. So hopefully I can give you guys an updated um, review or video as quickly as possible. So, uh, you've been watching another episode of Fabulous Investments, and I'm Jimmy L. See you guys on the next episode. Love you.